Hello all of my little baby bunnies, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play for Thimbleweed Park. My name is Karen with Karen Bob Gaming, and fucking if you don't know what I'm about to play, where have you been? This game has been all over my Twitter. Um, it just came out yesterday, I'm recording it the day after it was released. Um, I've been seeing this game for like weeks and months and everybody's been like, oh my god, point and click, everything's gonna be great. So let me tell you about the game real quick before we actually start. Um, Thimbleweed Park, it's made by the same people who did uh, uh, Monkey Island and Maniac Mansion, which if you don't know what those are, clearly you grew up in a different time than I did. <laughs> but they're basically the... They are how point and click games like became a thing uh, alongside with Sierra games, which also were really big with the point and click puzzle adventure games. So point and click puzzle adventure, that's what this game is supposed to be. Other than that, I don't really know anything about it. Um, the reviews have all been, holy shit, super positive. Everybody said that if you liked those old point and click games from that era, uh, you'll be fucking in love with this and it's fun and it's funny and it's a good time and I like a good time personally. Also, hello, uh, I noticed you asking <laughs> what, what's with the webcam, Karen? I thought you stopped doing that. I did and I still don't know if I'm going to do it again. This is kind of just a test. Um, I have a di I'm using a different software right now to record everything. Before I was recording the gameplay, the camera, and the audio all separately, and for some reason the webcam was always out of sync with everything else, even though I would run it through handbrake at a constant FPS. Um, so, but like, I could never get the audio to line up. So hopefully, this is just like an experiment. We'll see if it works. If it doesn't, then fuck it, I'm done, <laughs> and I won't do it again. <laughs> but if it does work, then maybe maybe webcam will come back and we'll, we'll see. And you can actually see my face while I play the games, and that's cool, because we like to look at people when they play games sometimes to see how they react. Sound good? Great, okay. So the only reason this has a, a load game is because I just wanted to run this and make sure I could record it the way like I wanted to, um, and it seemed to work okay, uh, so I only played it for about two or three minutes. So let's let's actually get into it. Yay! Let's do it! Yay! New game. So you can do casual mode if you're not super good with adventure games, or hard mode if you're an experienced adventure gamer. Um, I don't know if you fucking know who I am. Hard mode. <laughs> Adventure, like point and click adventure games are my fucking jam. I love them so much. Um, <laughs> so yeah, this is just telling you how to play, interact with the characters. And if you notice the layout, it's like very specifically old school point and click. You've got all of your actions, your inventory on the bottom, and then you can just hover over and click on everything and do the actions or combine things with your inventory, so on and so forth. So basically, um, I didn't actually look at this really. Hoteltron? What the fuck is, what is this? I didn't even notice this like room. Hoteltron, that's fucking adorable. Okay, anyways, yeah, this is just instructions. Interact with your characters, um, give commands, blah, blah, blah. Have your character pick. Simple commands, verb and end with an object, like pick up the key card. Complex commands, verb, object, another object. Oh, combine the key card with door, blah, blah, blah. And then if you wanna do, nobody cares. <laughs> Let's play the game. <laughs> I know how to adventure. You can't fucking tell me that I don't know how to adventure. Ugh, 1987. I love the text. The font is perfect. Oh shit, did I turn on the captions? I hope I turned on the captions. If I didn't, I'm sorry. I'll do that in a second. Light. Off, light off, light on. Flickering light, red flickering light. Very disturbing, why is it happening? I think my upstairs neighbor just dropped a bowling ball on the floor. That is a pretty nice little animation. Thimbleweed Park, city limit, population 81, elevation 14. Wow, they're close to the ocean. Cool. Population 80. Is that how they work? Do they just automatically change when people are shot? <laughs> Part one, the meeting. Wow. Trestle Trail. This is so pretty. 
Like, I like pixelated art already, but this is, oh, that's beautiful. This is really pretty. Like, it's really well executed pixel art. Oh, I love the, the scanning of the, the foreground and background objects. It's really nice looking. All right, what's about to happen? Oh, it's very businesslike, man. I fly halfway around the world and an odd note is waiting for me in my hotel room. It says to come to the bridge down by the river. This looks like the place. <laughs> I could really go for some Wiener Schnitzel after the long walk out here. <laughs> this fucker is German as shit. All right, can I change the, um, the, the... Is there no captions? Text and speech, here we go. Display text, yes please. Text speed, yeah, that's, yeah. Okay, there we go. Um, okay. This guy's German as shit. Wiener schnitzel? Really? Fucking Jaeger schnitzel is where it's at. Thank you very much. Okay, let's look at these. All right, uh, okay, Boris, I'm glad you decided this is the right solution to our problem. There are eyes everywhere, so follow these steps precisely. My name is Boris. Ah, oh, adorable. Okay. Um, for your own protection, leave your ID in your hotel room. Okay. Go to the river down by the trestle tail bridge, which I'm there. Okay. Uh, turn off the light above the trestle trail sign so I know you have arrived and meet me at the large entrance to the underground sewers and make sure you're not followed. Okay, so I have to do, I have to go over there and turn off the light and I need to make sure this guy will not follow me. Who is Willie? Let me look at what else. It what is my wallet and it has 252 American dollars in it. American dollars? <laughs> oh my god, he's a. It he's is the key card for my room. Prototype Pillow Bear TM? What the fuck? It is a Pillow Bear prototype. Turn the bear inside out and you get a pillow. Very top secret. <laughs> Incredible. Okay. Okay, so the trestle trail. Uh, fucking. I didn't even pay attention to this. To the underground sewers is where I need to go. Okay. So if I walk back up, what happens? Do I. Do I have to meet someone. I oh, cannot okay. leave okay. yet. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's talk to Willie. Uh, I could say, I'm supposed to meet someone down here. Have you seen anyone? Are you a victim of the inferior American social support system? <laughs> or I have to go, I'm sorry, I can't offer you a drink. Um, I am supposed to meet someone down here. Have you seen anyone? Do you have any whiskey? <laughs> Are you sure you have not seen anyone? <laughs> I'm glad Chuck is dead. Ruin my life. Okay, I'm guessing that's number 81 out of the population. Wake up, sir. Wake up, sir. Okay. I have to go. Sleep well. Okay, so he's asleep, so he probably won't follow me. Um. <clears throat> interesting. Okay, let's, uh, let's open the gate. Is there anything I can do past here? It's just the water. Can I walk into the water? Oh, I sure can. Can I pick up the rock? I wonder if I can use this rock to put out the light. Oh, okay. I'll fucking pick it up. That's a nice animation. I had better follow the instructions on the note before wandering into the underbrush. Okay. Trestle Trail to Thimbleweed Park. 1.7 miles. Okay. Um, all right, so... The light is turned on, and I do not see a light switch. So we'll use the rock on the light. <laughs> I like that little toss there. he does. I've completed step three of the- Okay, so meet me in the large entrance to the underground sewers. Okay, so this dude's still asleep. So I think I'm supposed to go this way. There's nothing to get to here. All right, let me, I wanna point something out to you guys that I, I mentioned earlier, but I may not have been super clear. So there's an animated, there's an animation effect that I've always really liked uh, that I learned about when I was really young and I was watching a special on like 
Disney movies and how they animated them. So there's something that you can do, and the way they used to do it before they had computers was they would uh, paint different um, landscape items on different pieces, like panes of glass, and lay them on top of each other. And in order to make it look like the foreground was moving at a different rate than the, the, middle, gr the middle ground and the background, they would move them all at different rates. So that, and, we'll, and I'll, I'll show you, when you walk from side to side, um, where are you, buddy? Can I walk? There we go. See, when you walk from side to side, the um, this foreground is moving at a different rate than this midground, and the same with the background. They're all moving at different times um, in order to show like an actual three-dimensional effect. Isn't that cool? I've always really liked it when when that's utilized in animation. It it's it's such a simple it's such a simple trick to to show 3D space in a 2D, like, animation. I always thought those were really cool. Anyways, look at the old- OH GOD! Are you kidding me? None of us were prepared for what we'd find that night. Oh, I'm not playing as Boris. Or how much it would change us all. Part 2, the body. Oh, fuck! Oh my god, I didn't think I was gonna die as Boris. He was so cute! Oh, you poor little bunny. Okay. So tell me again why you're here. I was assigned to the case by the home office in Albuquerque. There is no home office in Albuquerque. It's neat to know. Look, I like working a case alone. I especially don't need some junior agent messing up my investigation. Especially some junior agent that thinks I don't know there isn't a home office <laughs> in Albuquerque. So stay out of my way. Take a lot of notes. Sit back and learn. And I'll wrap up this case and we can both get the hell out of here. Your reputation certainly precedes you, Agent Ray. Okay. I'll take that as a compliment, so Agent Ray. It's how it was intended. I'm sure it was. Let's photograph the victim and head into town to talk to the local sheriff. The body is starting to pixelate. <laughs> the body starting to pixelate. <laughs> this is going to be a long night. Oh my god, that's hilarious. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna end it here because we're we're a little over a little over time, but holy Christ God, that's amazing. This is amazing. Um, I'm already having a great time. Like if I if I want to give you um, like a review right now, fuck, I love it. Go buy this game. <laughs> this is wonderful. If you're into point and click adventure games at all, and you like like silly funny everything then fucking what are you doing go buy it it's available on steam it was like 20 bucks anyways oh god what a delight i'm probably gonna do like maybe five episodes of this i don't want to do a full a full series i just kind of want to get a feel for the game um and and let you guys get a feel for the game too that way if you wanted to go out and buy it yourself you could um and and finish out the game yourself so yeah that's gonna be it. Thank you all so much for watching my my foray into Thimbleweed Park. Um, make sure to check out my Facebook and Twitter and like, comment, and subscribe if you want to do any of those things. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of, uh, of this game. This game that I just said the name of and we'll say again, I guess. Thimbleweed Park. <laughs> Fuck! Alright, bye! <laughs>